There was a big cricket final yesterday. Some 370 runs were scored. One of the captains also hit a century. But chances are, you did not hear about it. Do you know why? Because this match did not happen in Mumbai or Karachi or Melbourne. It happened in Dallas, in the United States of America. Now, I know what you're thinking. Do people even watch cricket in the US? Well, most of them don't. And that's what this new cricket league is hoping to change. It is called MLC, or Major League Cricket. The first season has just been completed. Six teams were involved this time. Some of their names will ring a bell, like Los Angeles Knight Riders, or Mumbai Indians New York, or Texas Super Kings. These teams are owned by Indian Premier League clubs. They're basically IPL subsidiaries. MI New York won yesterday's match. They were crowned the inaugural champions. But how was the local response? Well, it's a bit complicated. Don't think of the MLC like you think of the IPL. The IPL is worth around $15 billion. The MLC has only invested around $180 million. So let's not even compare the two. The infrastructure is also not up to the mark. Most of the matches were played in baseball stadiums. They had to be converted to play cricket. Nonetheless, the local participation was good. Most matches were sold out. A majority of the crowd was made up of South Asians. The league was, has big plans, in fact, in the coming years. All six teams have committed to building home stadiums. They also have some savvy investors. The team from Seattle, for instance, is co-owned by, Sat by Satya Nadella. He's the CEO of Microsoft. The team from Texas is co-owned by Ross Perot Jr. He's a prominent businessman, also the son of a former presidential candidate. The big highlight is the South Asian participation, mostly Indian Americans. As a business decision, it makes perfect sense. Indian Americans have the money, they have the political clout, they also have the interest. So if you want to grow cricket in the US, you can't do it without Indian Americans. But that alone is not going to be enough. Let me show you some numbers. Cricket has around 4 million fans in the United States. Cycling has almost doubled that. Basketball has 48 million. Baseball, 53 million. So cricket has a long way to go. And don't think this is just a private sector project. The ICC or the International Cricket Council is also on the job. They have awarded next year's T20 World Cup to the US and West Indies. Four American cities will host matches. They're also looking to include cricket in the 2028 Los Angeles Olympics. So there is a big roadmap already in place. But what explains the sudden interest in the US? Why does cricket want to crack America? For starters, there is big money. Let me show you a comparison. During the IPL playoffs, advertisement, advertisements, in fact, cost around $90,000. That's $90,000 for a 30-second video. Guess how much the Super Bowl charges? $7 million. The North American market is massive. The ad money, the streaming money, the ticket costs, all of this is much higher than anywhere in the world. And that's one reason. The second reason is this. Cricket needs an expansion plan. It is the second most watched sport on the planet. Around two and a half billion people watch cricket. But most of them are from one region, the Indian subcontinent. You take that out and cricket loses all the money and relevance. Consider this. The next FIFA World Cup will have 48 teams. But the next Cricket World Cup will have only 10. It remains a game limited to Britain's former colonies. The goal is to break away from that, to get more and more countries to play cricket. And I know all of this sounds exciting, especially if you're watching us from India, but this is all easier said than done. Cricket is a grassroots game. You need to have proper systems right down to the local district. Only then can you field a good national team. Can the US build such a system? More importantly, do they want to build such a system? You can't bank only on South Asian support to build cricket in America. You need non-immigrants to get hooked. And how do you do that? Easy, by building a good team. Indians are hook, hooked on cricket because our teams do well. Same with Australia or England or South Africa. No one wants to see their country lose, and knowing the Americans more so. If the US can feel a good side, maybe win some matches, then things will change which is why the MLC is so important. It can give American cricketers more exposure. It can create the best infrastructure. And of course, the money helps. If cricket can establish itself in the US, it could set the stage for further expansion.